Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm here to do another portable power station review video. We've done, this is an All Powers S2000 Pro. Uh, we've done All Powers before, it was a bigger battery, hefty, it was quite heavy. Um, but I had really good luck with it, so I was kind of excited to do this one. This of course is a smaller version. This one right here is the S2000 Pro. It puts out 2400 watts, it has 1451 watt hours of power. And it has a 4,000 watt surge, so there really shouldn't be much you throw at it that it can't take care of. If we take a look here at the All Powers S2000 Pro face, we've got our four AC outlets right here. You've got a 12 volt cigarette type port right there. We've got two of the USB, what are those, C, the fast charge. You've got your regular USBs down here and over here. We have our XT60 where our solar panel will hook up. In this review, we're going to be using the All Powers 400 watt solar panel. This is a hefty panel. It's got some weight to it. It's quite rigid. I think it's going to be nice because when you get the real light ones, I mean, they have their place and ones like this have their place because when you set these up, the wind doesn't just blow them over. Right now it's dark outside. It's almost eight o'clock at night. So we won't be doing anything with this today. I just wanted to get out here, unbox, see what we've got, um, and then we'll go ahead and, and see what the, we'll turn it on and see what it's charged up to and see if I have to charge it with grid power or if I can just wait till tomorrow and charge it with solar. We're gonna test it all out and see how it works. It has a real nice sturdy handle, which I like. I talk about that in every one of these so that if you're grabbing it and you're carrying it and you go up to a door, you're carrying it with both hands, you can go like this against your hip, hold on to it and open up the door. I like that. We've got our grid power right here to charge it up and that plug-in is right here on the back. And this right here looks like I have a Okay, so I can charge it this way too. So you can charge it. I will look at all the different ways to charge it. I'm sure you can do electric with solar. It'll have solar. This would be car charging. This would go into your adapter on your car. This would plug into the XT60 right here. So you can charge it while you're driving. It comes with a cover also or a whole entire case. Put your battery in here. Oh, it even has a zipper on the side. That's nice. because You know it would really be a pain trying to slide it in there. This would go over the top, Velcro's down, so you'd be waterproof, it could sit outside. That's real nice. Let's turn it on. Battery is charged to 70%, so you've got the nice round, shows you where your battery's at. Input, output, and how many days or hours or whatever it'll run. Right now it'll go, it says 14 days when I don't have anything plugged into it. And then I'm sure we have AC turned on. Shows you that. DC shows you that. So it says here, press DC button three seconds on off Bluetooth. Okay, so now we have Bluetooth. Do I have an All Powers app on here? <laughs> I don't even know if I do. I do have an All Powers app on here. I like this. You can, there's a Wi-Fi device or the Bluetooth de uh, device. Every time I got to play around with the Wi-Fi, I can never seem to figure it out. Let's see what we've got when we have. Well, it just scanned and you can see that the S2000 Pro came up. Let's click on it. Connecting. Nice. You wouldn't think you would use the app on these. It's not needed to run it, but when you have it and, and it connects fast like that, some of them do and some of them don't. This one was seamless. It was beautiful. It's nice because you can check things and sometimes you have a few more options with your app versus on this screen right here. So this does have the ups function so that you can hook up a CPAP machine or whatever, plug this into grid power, plug whatever you have into it, just let it sit like that. If the power ever goes out, it immediately switches over to the battery and 
having it plugged in, the battery is always charged. And then if the power goes out, boom, your appliance, it didn't even hardly flicker and it's still going. Now looking through the user manual on this, on this little battery has pretty much everything that any bigger battery would have. You just have 1,400 to 51 watt hours. But with a 4,000 watt surge, like I said, it's going to run pretty much anything. I mean, let's see, let's turn the AC on. Grab my circular saw because these surge pretty good. Plug that in. I mean, it gets it right away. <laughs> you know, there's no lag there. Let's see how much of watts that takes. I know I've done that saw before. So that surged at 1,475 watts. So this pulls a lot of power and it did it just fine. Let's see how it does with my little, I use this to sharpen my chainsaw. <laughs> so I could take a little battery like this with me because it's small enough to move around easily and uh, bring it right out when I'm cutting wood instead of having to bring the chainsaw back here to the workshop to sharpen it. I can just use this. And it's nice with this size here because you've got enough watt hours, you've got the big surge, it puts out 2400 watts. Um, I mean, so and it's light enough so you can throw it in a canoe and just go on a camping trip and put it in your tent or whatever and have enough power to run things for a while. Bring along a solar panel and you're set up because you know, it doesn't take all that long for a battery like this to charge up versus like a really big one. Well, that's all we're going to do on it today. I'm not even going to plug it in because we're at 70%. If I plug it into grid power, it really charges fast. It's got some different modes on there for charging. So, I mean, this thing would be charged up. I wonder how long it would take. It's at 70%. So, if I take and plug this in, you know what? I can just use this cord and do it. I like the weight of this thing. It's just so easy to carry around. All right, plugged into grid power. Okay, now we're getting into some higher. Right around 760 watts it's putting in. It'll take 34 minutes to charge that to 100%. Tells you that right here. But if I charge it like that, tomorrow if I want to do the solar panel, it will have nothing to charge. So we'll just leave it. We'll come back to this tomorrow. Hopefully we have some sunshine. It is, it, it's, tomorrow it's going to be, right now it's two degrees below zero. And it feels like that's Fahrenheit. It feels like 18 below right now, and the wind always dies down at night. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be really cold. So anyway, we'll still put it out. We're going to put the battery outside, and it's not going to get above. It's 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 going to it's supposed to get to zero degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow, and it's going to get down to almost 20 below actual air temp tonight. We're going to throw this out in the cold. We're going to hook up the solar panel to it and see how it does. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. 20 degrees below zero Fahrenheit actual air temp with a 45 below zero Fahrenheit wind chill, or feels like right now. <laughs> it's a brutal morning, but as you can see, the sun is out. So let's uh, take this battery here. Let's see what we're, what were we at last night? 70% or something? 71%. So we'll get this thing set up. I haven't even opened it up yet to take a look and see what what all we have in here.
couple of different uh, cables. That's pretty nice. They have multiple ways you can use the solar panel. This is the main one, yeah, that we will use. What is this? It's a 400 watt, but it's the All Powers APSP037BLA. Or up here it says SPO37V4. Yeah, that's a nice, beefy, rigid 400 watt panel. I mean, look at that thing. That's nice. I'm going to have to back the camera up just so you can see the whole thing. That is a serious solar panel there. Wow. Let's get this baby hooked up and get the battery hooked up to it and see what we can do with this. I'll hook that battery up there right now. It's hard, it's windy out, so it's hard to film when it's windy like this, but we got some good cold sunshine out there. You're going to have to see the camera reflection, which is kind of unprofessional, but it's the only way to do it in this. I don't think I've ever had a 400 watt panel that's putting in 394 watts. 395, that is absolutely amazing. I mean, the sun is low in the sky this time of year even. It's winter time. Now that is a solar panel. That's doing 396, 399. Wow. The All Powers S2000 Pro is fully charged up to 100%. The All Powers 400 watt solar panel had no problem doing it. So that's a, that's a good solar panel right there. I've never seen one that put out that many watts. I mean, it should. It's a 400 watt and we were right there, but still I have never experienced where one got to as close to that wattage as what this one did. So I can see nothing wrong with this battery. You know, if, I don't know. It uh, seems to work really good. I do want to check the ups function on it. I think that's kind of fun to plug in. We'll plug into grid power and then we'll turn on the AC and plug into AC so the electricity is going straight through it. And then we'll unplug the cord and see if there's any you know, any, any noticeable like surge in it, you know, from one type electric to the battery. What I do when I do this, first we'll turn on the AC. And the little thing says ups, so I know that that's on. And I plug this in. And what I'm going to do is turn this on, and then I'm going to unplug this. And we'll see if we can tell any difference. I couldn't tell anything at all with that. We'll try it with the circular saw too. And if you can see, that thing right there says UPS. So we'll do the exact same thing again. I cannot tell at all. That's really fast. And the UPS system, UPS, is uninterrupted power supply. And that is super fast. And some of these have apps or EPS, 
and that is emergency power supply basically works the same way, but it's not immediate. So if you have something that, if the power goes out, like, like an electronic clock you have in your house that's on your stove, if the power goes out, you come home and the clock is flashing, you know that the power went out in your house. With UPS, that clock would not be flashing. It would have never stopped. With EPS, it could, it, if it wasn't a fast enough system, it would be flashing. It, it still has power going to it, it just took longer. So people that have things like CPAP machines, it's just something that they, people, they use as an example all the time, would definitely want an UPS system. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. I, I don't know what else to cover. Uh, we've covered pretty much everything, all of the ports that it has. I mean, for a battery, that it's a nice, pretty light battery, and it really packs a punch. I mean, it has enough watt hours so you can take it somewhere and it's not going to go out that first day. And it has enough power to run. Well, you guys saw it. Just about anything you want with that surge and everything. It's got ups, lithium battery. That's a good little unit, and that's a good solar panel, too. I will put any links for the products in the description box, any deals they have going, anything like that, so you guys can check it out. Now once again, thanks a lot for watching. That was a fun one to do. I will see you guys on the next video.